Hey everybody, Jeff aka G Chris here. I hope you're all having a great day. It is currently 2.03 p.m. on the 29th of September 2024. It is a cloudy Sunday afternoon here in the city of Coastal Washington. As always, if you like what you're about to watch, I would greatly appreciate it if you click on that subscribe button, click on the like, click on the bell. Uh, it'll alert you when I release new content. Hopefully, that's if YouTube knows what it's doing. Anyway, what you what this is is I figured that I like I always try to say I tried to evolve the product a little bit. You know, it may not be big things, maybe small things, but I always like to try to add and change up the way I do things. And one of the things I thought I would do is I would do an episode preview. Now, this is actually going to be a little bit late because I already got the first case out for season uh, one, episode 10. But starting with season one, episode 11, I plan on having this out before any of the cases come out for that episode. Basically, what it is, is I'm going to do a quick preview of what you can expect in that uh in that episode in this episode so let's actually do this and i'm going to do this this case or this uh episode i i think season one episode 10 actually has some of the best episodes of this uh season now if that's just subjective that's my opinion but we have we have a little bit of uh, the gambit here basically we got a wanted case we have a uh, the unexplained that deals with the possibility of uh, aliens. We have a person who went missing. And we have a murder case. Now, regarding that murder case, uh, I'm going to get to that pretty quickly. But as you can see here, this is all the goodness that we are going to be having. So, uh, let's actually get to that right now, shall we? Okay, so the, for the first case we have in uh, Season 1, Episode 10, uh, it is the case of Ann Sigmund and Gary Goff. Basically, what we have here is that a guy named Charlie Sigmund was brutally shot and killed. He was, she, he was shot seven times. Uh, it's believed that both Ann Sigmund, who, is, who was the estranged wife at the time, and Gary Goff, uh, apparently they both took turns shooting him, uh, according to possible reports. Now, I've already covered this case. I actually uploaded this case yesterday. This is uh, That's another reason why I'm uh, doing this video, because of the fact that, uh, you know, YouTube sometimes does not alert the viewers that I release these videos. So if you are curious about this case, uh, the case of Ann Sigmund and Gary Goff, in the corner here, I'm going to have the, uh, oh, I'm going to have the uh, link so you can actually watch the case if you're curious. Uh, like I said, I already covered this case uh, yesterday. So uh, this was this uh, whole idea of doing a preview. And then at the very end, after the last, uh, case of this season i'll be doing of this episode i'll also be doing a, a uh, episode review basically but yeah so this case was already uploaded and i give you my thoughts and like i said if you would like to see it you can check the link right there okay so after uh the case of ann sigmund and gary goff we actually have what i think is one of the best cases in the entire series of uh unsolved mysteries and that is actually the case of robert matthews this was also known as the missing time case basically uh if you believe in ufos or ufo phenomena you'll probably have heard of missing time uh basically what it is is that people will experience uh something called missing time where they 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 think that everything is going okay and then it could be that uh, it could be uh, feel like just one minute went by, or it could literally feel like nothing happened. But to everybody else, uh, the person could be gone for, you know, like an hour or even longer. This is what actually happened to Robert Matthews. Robert thought he was seeing a UFO. He reached out to the uh, army base that he was on, that he was waiting to be uh, delivered to. Basically, he told him that something's going on. However. 
when he went back to make a, a second call to the army base, the army base basically said that they were out there and they never found him. So this is actually a pretty unique, you know, pretty unique case. I love the uh, the the production of this uh, case. It, it had that real rough uh, early unsolved mysteries style that everybody really loves. Now this, even though this focuses on Robert Matthews, there's a, a couple other cases. I cannot recall what their names are, but they also experienced missing time. Okay, so uh, after the case of Robert Matthews, we actually have a case that's very sad. However, it is actually a case that I am going to be omitting from this episode. It is the case of Don Henry and Kevin Ives. I am, uh, volu it's my choice not to have this case. And the reason why, the reason why is that this case I actually already covered in season one, episode five, you can find it on the playlist. And if you're also curious, I can put it, uh, the video in the description, in the uh, corner up here also for you to watch if you like, uh, this segment here for season one, episode 10, this was literally just kind of like a slight update to the case. It was uh, Robert Stack talking to an FBI agent. And since this series revolves around uh, the Unsolved Mysteries wiki, it wouldn't really serve any purpose to have this you know, case be covered you know, because of the fact that I already covered it. It'd basically be just like kind of repeating it and everything. So... Uh, I'm choosing to omit this case, but I still urge everybody to go and see this case, this case viewing. You can see it in the uh, upper corner. And yeah, so, you know, there's that, but yeah. Okay, up next we have a, a very sad case. We have the case of Rogers Kane. Basically, Rogers Kane uh, was a very reliable, uh, reliable worker. He never missed work. He was always on time. And it's kind of like what Robert Stack said in the video of this case. Basically, we don't realize how important somebody is until they disappear. And that's what ended up happening to Rogers Kane. He uh, suffered uh, a vehicle trouble. However, it's believed that during that incident where he had vehicle trouble, he could have had a stroke. And it caused a memory issue with him. And... Basically, they believe that he entered like a survival mode, that he was trying to survive by any way he, you know possible, and for him, that was working. Well, sadly, as of this recording, Rogers has never been located. So this is a case I'm, I'm, actually, uh, I'm actually looking forward to cover because it, it, it's very sad, and I feel it's, you know, the people, his family deserves to know what ended up happening to their, to their loved one. Okay, so basically we are now at the end of this video. Basically, it's where I'm going to give you the schedule. So here is the schedule breakdown uh, for what you can expect. This uh, is as of September 29, 2024. Things can always change. I may have a hard work week, and because of that, I may just want to say fuck it and take a nice weekend off and just rest. You know, that could happen, you know, right now. Uh until a couple minutes ago, I actually started forming a, a little bit of a headache. So it just basically depends on how I'm feeling, you know, at the end of the work week, basically. So uh, as you already know, case number one, the case of Ann Sigmund and Gary Goff, uh, it has been uploaded, was uploaded yesterday. And I will put the, uh, uh, the link up there in the corner so you can see it. I'm actually getting pretty good at using that uh, little... Uh, whatever it's called where you can put the link up in the corner so if you would like to see that case which i hope you will you can find it up there in the corner and for some reason even though the previous uh case the mystery rock case of unsolved mysteries a uh, black site uh it, it, it blew up i mean it got like over 600 views which i am very gra uh, ground proud of uh for some reason the uh and Sigmund and Gary Goff case, as of right now, has like only five views. It's, it's like sometimes YouTube is very weird when it the way it pushes out videos to people. On October twenty fifth, or on sorry, October fifth, two thousand twenty four, at nine p.m. 
Pacific Standard Time, I will be uploading the Robert Matthews, the uh, also known as the Missing Time case. It is currently in pre-production. I already am starting to uh, get some visuals uh, ready for like OBS and all that. Case number three, w which was the Don Henry and Kevin Ives case, uh, it has been omitted. As I mentioned already, I already covered it. Uh, link will be up there in the corner, so you can watch it there. Case number four, which is the one I'm really sad about, which is the case of Roger Kane. If everything works uh, works out appropriately, it should be uploaded on October 19th, 2024 at 9 p.m. Uh, it's currently in the planning stage right now. I'm just, I like to watch these cases over and over again to get really up to date and get, uh, you know, you know, just see what there is. And then finally, this is another thing that I plan on uh, doing that's kind of, that's also new. I plan on doing an episode review, which will be its own episode itself. So basically, I will, uh, you know, after a week after Roger Kane, I will do this upload, uh, which is only like five days before Halloween, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but yeah, where I will give you my thoughts about each of the cases that, that were in this uh episode i'll even cover the don henry kevin ives case even though i already covered it before but yeah it's just basically a breakdown of me telling you what i thought about this episode and that is it ladies and gentlemen that is it as always if you like what you watch feel free to click that subscribe button uh, click the bell, click the like, you know all that stuff. I'm going to put a screen capture of the schedule on the community tab so everybody can see it if they would like. And I guess that's about it. So my name is Jeff, a.k.a. Curse. Wishing you all a great weekend. Stay safe, everybody. Peace out.